Not much has changed in our weather around here as we do have a very high forecast fire danger as we head into Thursday. This will go right on into the holiday weekend pretty much all across the state. Western part of the state not quite as dry as what the rest of us have been, but highs around 100 are likely to continue. Notice there's not much happening across our part of the world. It's clear to the north, clear to the northwest. So that is that heat dome that will continue to be right over the top of us and not allow for any significant rain. Of course, the big story has been Adelia that has been making its way up the eastern seaboard now and moved into Florida early this morning and it's losing a lot of its characteristics. Still, it will weaken into a tropical storm and then eventually work its way across parts of South Carolina before going out to sea once again and maintaining tropical storm status the way it looks right now. But it will be moving away from the United States. Back here at home, well, it's going to be hot, not record heat, but still well above average. We'll go 100 degrees for Thursday, 101 Friday, 102 Saturday, and just kind of hover right here, right around 101, 102, maybe back down to 99 as we head toward the middle of next week. So Again, highs around 100, very likely across the region, not anticipating much in the way of rain. Adelia will continue to push away here, and there will be some tropical moisture that will move up into Louisiana, Far East Texas into the weekend. As of right now, it doesn't look like a lot of that will impact our area. Maybe a very slight chance of a thunderstorm. I-45 to the east as we head into Sunday. But overall, things are looking pr pretty quiet, even going into next week as the heat continues. So tonight, temperatures will work their way down into the upper 60s and lower 70s across the region. Then here we go with highs right around 100 for a lot of us tomorrow, maybe a few upper 90s farther off toward the east. And looking at your forecast, we are going to continue with those highs around 100, lows at night into the 70s. And that will be even creeping up as we head into early next week. And it will stay pretty warm. We may see a little more humidity by the end of next week for an isolated storm threat.